we'd like to bring out uh, Refuel, Refuel fi uh, founder, Brian Hoover, and one of the directors of Refuel, Kyle Strickland, to discuss a new technology. I mentioned this earlier, that guys and families uh, can use um, as we learn to shift our focus to things that matter and ultimately shift our focus to Jesus. So Brian and Kyle, why don't you come up, go ahead and come on up to the stage. All right, so uh, Brian, why don't, you, why don't you go ahead and, and kind of kick us off and tell us about what's new at Refuel. Yeah, uh, we've been, uh, this is our sixth conference at, uh, for Refuel, and we've been really enjoying this ride, and thank you for being part of it. Um, but after every conference, we get the question, what's next? You know, how do, you, how do we take this content and the material that you've been hearing from Coach Mo and Don and others in the past, and how do you, what do you do with it? You know, so we've been wrestling with that question a long time, and Kyle and I and many of our other leadership team, um, some are still part of it, some are not. Um, we've just been, what's, what do we do? How do we do this? What's next? So um, we really want to, we have two main goals. We want to get in the fight using technology uh, to help men and families stay connected. Uh, technology uh, is a strong, strong element and component uh, of everything that we do today. And it can be very destructive too. So we want to design something that using technology that will actually help men and families and, and the community as a whole. Um, so that's number one, goal number one. Um, and we want that to be a community resource, which is goal number two. Uh, that's going to connect our city, impact our city. Uh, you may or may not know Memphis was rated the number one fatherless city in America recently. Uh, in 2011, Men's Health did a study of 100 cities across America, of across 35 categories, and Memphis was ranked number 100 as far as worst places for men to live. So even though we've got challenges in Memphis, you know, with a lot of different issues, uh, we think it's the best place for God's glory to be revealed. Uh, but we think the foundation of that process is men really standing up and being the men that, called God us, that God called us to. And sometimes that's not easy, but that's really what we're trying to do um, and what we're gonna launch with Shift 901. Yeah, Kyle, why don't you go ahead and tell us how Shift 901 came about and why it is needed. First, how y'all doing? We doing all right? Good. Um, so why is uh, shift901.com even in existence. Well, let me tell you why. I'm going to be real brief. Um, one of my favorite verses in the New Testament, uh, the verse, the passage that really drives my day is a, a passage in 2 Timothy chapter 2. It's one of the last things that Paul wrote. And he gives this final charge to Timothy, and he says, he calls him my son, no relation whatsoever. My son, be strong in the grace of Jesus Christ. And then he says to, sh to share what you've heard me teach in the presence of others with reliable men so that they, in turn, can teach other people, right? So that's, a, that's kind of wordy, but you can look it up at 2 Timothy chapter 2. And, and, I, and I'm, personally, that, that passage it drives my day. Every day I wake up, and, and I'm not, this is not a spotlight moment. It literally, every step I take, I am trying to figure out, Lord, in this moment, in this very moment, how am I going to share the gospel? And, and I'm, and I'm going to be honest, that, that came through a lot of, a lot of trial to get me to that point, um, and, it, and it cost me a lot, but that passage moves me. It moves me, and so in the people, in the, in the people, and the men, the young men that I disciple on a weekly basis, on a, on a daily basis, my, my week is filled uh, with young men and dads that I spend time with and, and disciple and teach them what it means to love Jesus and what it means to be transformed into his image. I've learned something. I've learned something that the enemy, the enemy, the God of this age is attacking our guys with weapons of mass distraction. Weapons of mass distraction. And in turn, he has used those weapons of mass distraction, you know where I'm going, as weapons of mass destruction. And I've watched it happen. And look, and I just, I'm sick of it. That, can I say that? I'm very sick of that. Very sick of that. So as we dreamed about what Refuel could be, and Brian and I are uh, very thankful for his friendship and our partnership, trying to figure out what is coming next, we, we learned early on that what has to happen is that Refuel, even in its infancy, knew that we had to become and are a disciple-making organization. But we also know 
that between the both of us, we can't disciple a quarter of a million men in the city of Memphis. But we did know that there were organizations in Memphis that are doing that every single day. And so what we thought and what we believe the Lord was leading us to is to pull the resources of those organizations and put them in the palm of a person's hand and render those weapons of mass distraction impotent. And so what we've done through the grace of God and some very capable partners is designed a really, really awesome website called Shift 901. That's why we're here. So, hey. ooh, ooh. Oh, go ahead. What's your question, oh, wow. Jessica? Sorry, you uh, did you have a question? I did. All right, what's Are you up? ready for it? Yeah, sure. Okay. I may go uh, a different route, but go ahead and ask. Okay. <laughs> okay, so how will this portal be used in the community? Oh, that's a great question. Um, okay, so Kyle's a preacher. I'm not, so I'm a little more raw. Um, so I want to give, we told you guys that um, we wanted to give the women some insight and a peek into our soul. So I want to describe to the audience four different categories that most guys fall into. Okay, so to do this illustration, I need Chris Altrock. Is he here? Chris Altrock, I need him come here. Reggie Manning, Reggie, you still here? Here he comes. Randy Odom, there he is. And Stephen Ford, Stephen here? There he is. Stephen, I need you over here. So it's Chris, you stay there. Stephen over here and Reggie and Randy in the middle, okay? All right, so there are, there are four, I'm the smallest guy up here except for Chris. Um, <laughs> yeah. You're shorter than Chris, yeah, actually. That's usually the problem. Uh, so guys usually fall into four categories, okay? All right, I'm going to start with Reggie. Reggie is the uh, uh, founder and uh, CEO of Tutor Doctor. He's one of our uh, Shift 901 partners. You can learn more about him in the lobby after this session. Uh, but he's a resource that you can go to uh, that we want to point you to. This guy is on fire for Christ, but unfortunately, he had to get there because he had a near-death experience, or his life was so far in the gutter with something, his relationships fell apart, his, he was in addictions, uh, he, he hit the bottom, and the only way that he could revive his relationship with Jesus was to get back in touch with Jesus. This guy is on fire, and he continues to be on fire because he tasted the blood of Jesus. He grew up in the church, but he never tasted the blood of Jesus until that life situation happened, and he had to really rely on Jesus and trust Jesus and realize Jesus was really the only answer to his problems. This guy is not the person we're trying to help with Shift 901. So, Reggie, you can have a seat because you're on fire. You're doing great. You're involved. You teach. You're evangelizing. You're discipling. That, that, that taste of Jesus, uh, the blood of Jesus experience revived your faith, Okay. Now, Randy represents a very small percentage of guys, typically. He met Jesus at some point in time and decided just to stay in love with Jesus forever. He's committed. He's dedicated. His whole passion is wrapped around uh, uh, living his life for Jesus. He has not been distracted. He hasn't been sidetracked. He struggles. He's not perfect. But man, he is, his, his most pressing thought every single day when he wakes up is to live his life for Christ because he understands that the only way that he can be filled, the only way that he can live out a rich life is to truly trust in the Holy Spirit and let him take control. And that's what he does every day. And from the first day he met Jesus, that's how he lives his life. Randy, unfortunately, Shift 901 is not going to help you. So I need you to have a seat. And that's really, that pretty much, Randy, by the way, is the uh, CEO of Ma Memphis Athletic Ministries. Great friend of mine, great program in the inner city, and doing great things for kids in this city. So another, another Shift 901 partner that we want you to get to know in the lobby. These are the two guys that, we stro that, that Shift 901 uh, can help. I'm going to start with him. You're last. Stephen Ford is uh, one of our partners, uh, Cobblestone Media Group. They helped us build this Shift 901 site. He's also the brains uh, behind Man Church, um, which is a ministry that meets on Saturday morning, does some awesome things for guys in the city. So when he says, Brian, send an email to your friends because I want them to go to Man Church, now you know why. Because he said, I will, I will break you if you don't send that email. Um, he's a big man. Um, Stephen represents most guys. He's a good guy. 
He's a moral guy. He's faithful to his wife. He doesn't have any major addictions in his life. He's got churchianity down to a routine. Do you hear that? Churchianity, not Christianity. He shows up every Sunday. He's dressed the right way. He sits down when he's supposed to. He stands up when he's supposed to. He sings when he's supposed to. He's probably not really engaged, but he's a good guy. The problem with Stephen is that he has never been involved in the life of another person. He thinks the inner city is a foreign country. His life is surrounded by safety. He's a little boxy at times, and he is not real interested in discipling people, walking with people, living out their faith together in any way because it's scary, it's unknown, it's foreign. Uh, He wants nothing to do with it. Unfortunately, Stephen, there's going to be a day when you meet God, and he's going to say, what did you do for other people? And you're going to have to say, Nothing. That's a scary moment, brother. That, so through Shift 901, we want to take good, moral, convicted guys like him and connect him with Memphis Athletic Ministries and the Tudor Doctor and Hope Works and some, all the others that are in our, in our network. Because the only way Stephen is really going to have a real faith is if he activates his faith and gets involved in the life of another person. If you have never been in the, in, in the life of another person, your faith will only get so level. Once you start teaching other people about Jesus and walking with them, your faith will go through the roof and you will trust Jesus and live on the Holy Spirit like you've never did before. Okay? So we want to help Stephen through Shift 901 get connected to resources that are already doing great things in the community and get him plugged in somewhere that meets his heart and his passion so that he can live that out and experience his own faith in a way that he's never done before, but also touch the lives of other people. So Stephen, you stay standing. Chris, you're the one that I'm most worried about because you're the one I relate to the most. Um, this guy is a busy guy. He looks good on the outside. He's in good shape, good, wears the right clothes. But on the inside, he's miserable. He's lonely. He's hurting. He's isolating himself. He's fighting, like Don said early, all the wrong fights. He's restricting his faith. And, and Grant talked about freedom earlier. He's not free because he's so up to his neck in addictions that he cannot even see straight. He's addicted to pornography. He's addicted to his career. He's addicted to chasing money. He's addicted to alcohol. He's addicted to all of these different vices in his life. And he cannot have a relationship with God or other people because these addictions are taking over. And they're restricting every time he gets out of bed, they're cutting off his circuits. It's amazing what happens when this guy finally tastes the blood of Jesus. <laughs> you know, but it takes a while. He got to this position in secrecy, maybe through some Facebook messages, maybe through some texting, maybe through some secret trips, business trips, maybe through whatever. He got to this state of life, more than likely in secrecy, which then created isolation, which, which then created a lot of passivity, which then created an attitude of, I don't care. I don't want anybody to know. Let me keep everything to me and try to do it on my own. And he just keeps digging deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. We want to help this guy through Shift 901. He got there in secrecy. If he needs to get out of there in secrecy, we want to help him with that issue through Shift 901. Because now, if he knows about Shift 901, he's going to be able to go to the site, figure out... uh, Russ, do you have those buttons that you can put up there? I don't know if you can now. But he's going to be able to go to that site and look at one of the buttons that relates to the issues that he's going to and so uh, that he's going through. And so will Stephen. We'll be able to hit that button and figure out what's going on in their life, get connected to a community resource, whether it be a counselor that deals with sexual addictions or a marriage counselor that can help them restore his marriage or a, a, a career counselor that can help him get his career and life balance in, in order. Uh, he's going to be able to connect with the resources that can help him get out of that situation, whatever it is. And that's the other guy that we're trying to help through Shift 901. Now, women, here's what you need to understand. All four of these guys have two things in common. Number one, we think about us a lot. Okay? In case you haven't figured that out yet, we think about us a lot. That kind of leads into point number two. We think about sex 
a lot. So we have to fight those urges all the time, probably seven, it's estimated seven seconds a day, every seven seconds a day, we have some kind of sexual temptation. We have to fight that every single day. So when you talk about getting into the fight, that's something when we wake up out of bed, we have to fight that urge every single moment. And for some, it's fighting the urge to go to the bottle. And for some, it's fighting the urge to get a buzz. And I've said it now, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You cannot live out a a life in Christ on a buzz. So you can have your social parties and you can have all that stuff, but when you're you're doing that for your selfish fulfillment and you're trying to do it on a buzz, it just doesn't work because you'll never get here and you'll never get here because Christ is not the center and the priority in your life. Hence, these two guys. So through Shift 901, we want to point resources, whether they need help with those issues, whatever they may be, or if they need to be engaged in something bigger than themselves. And at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. Right now, we have 12 partners. We have a dream of having 1,200 partners. Right now, we want to be part of Shift 901, but we want Shift 615. We want Shift 479. We want Shift 662. We want Shift 731. What's Indiana again? Shift 765, these guys drove from all the way from Indiana. Uh, they need a duck call or something. I know you already got something, but here's another one. Heads up. Um, so we want Shift 901, we want you guys to capture this vision with us and help us get a Shift 615, but let's start with 901. Let's get the men in the 901 area code, like Kyle said earlier, alive in Christ. Let's get all of these guys here where these guys are. Okay, and let's point into the resources that can do it. So how can you be part of that? This is the last thing I'm gonna close with. You guys can sit down too. Thank you for your involvement. And Highland, by the way, is our host sponsor. Highland, I've been a part of Highland Church since 1992. Actually, Chris and I came together when I was an intern and he was an intern. Um, this is a great faith community. I uh, just appreciate you guys being our host and letting us come in here this year and doing this uh, on your ground. So I really appreciate Highland. Um, <laughs> I told Jace that everybody would be on time except for me, and I was right. All right, so here's how you can help us. I've been in technology for 20 years. Okay, I sell technology. I tell everybody, and I'll tell you again, I don't understand how it works. I just know how to sell it. I don't, I don't get that connection, but I help businesses all over the globe deliver applications faster, protect them more, with more resiliency, and do all that stuff that I can talk about, but I just don't understand. That's just a, bless, that's just a gift God gave me. I get, you know, I don't understand it. But... Um, I understand how technology can enhance your life, but I also understand how it can destroy it. Um, many of my relationships, many of my friendships, their, their marriages were nearly destroyed or were destroyed because of technology. My brother-in-law just left his whole family. Four kids and a wife just left his whole family. Years ago, he created an alter ego of himself online, been playing games his whole, his whole adult life, created an alter ego of himself and just disconnected and finally left his family um, about a year ago or so. He just decided he didn't have that enough. Two 13-year-old children, two 12-year-old children, and a loving wife that would do anything for him. And he's like, I'm done, I'm out. I'm gonna start over. We, I hope one day, and I pray one day, Shift 901 can help my brother-in-law. I pray one day Shift 901 can help my family because they still don't know God. Thanks to Don, I do, but my family still doesn't. Um, so how can you help us? Technology is great. It can be destructive, but it's expensive. Uh, can you pass those cards out now? Um, you should have some cards being sent out by the volunteers. This, this document that we're going to give you is just going to quickly explain what we're looking for. So we're looking for uh, immediate support, $25, $100, $200, $500,000, whatever you want to do to be part of this effort, to help us get to where we need to go. Uh, we want you to be part of that, whether it's tonight or down the road. We want people to be on our leadership team that have creative and kingdom thinking minds. We want people that want to think about unity more than, than, than divisiveness. We, we need those people on our leadership team to help us build this thing because Kyle and I, I promise you, and even with Cobblestone's help, none of us have all the answers and we need more creative, powerful minds that have a vision for the kingdom and how we can help guys in, in tru- that are in trouble, but also engage guys in kingdom activities. And then we need your prayers, we need your support, and and we need you to look at this as a way to do something, if you're not doing anything or involved with anything, as a way that you can help 
do something meaningful in the lives of boys and men and families and around the Mid-South. So you get there, we're going to give you some envelopes. If you have some money laying around, put some money in that envelope. Help us get this thing started. We have a dream of hiring two, two full-time people to run this business. I've got four kids, and again, I'm in technology. I'm not going to run the business. I want to hire two people that get the vision that will understand what we're trying to accomplish and build this thing out so that we can get this into the hands of every community resource that we have access to. So we're looking to raise at least a half a million dollars over the next two years, okay? So we want you to be part of that tonight if you can. Uh, outside, we have a silent auction that's going on. Um, you can buy an old Miss helmet that's been signed by all three speakers. We have a, a unique refuel logoed coffee bag that was offered by Jay Brooks uh, that, you can, that you can silent auction. This artwork that Jamond is drawing, that will be auctioned off. He's gonna create another piece when Jace is speaking. Uh, these hats, uh, Jay signed two or four of these hats. You can buy these hats, and a, that's a silent auction. And then a company in town called Dixie Pickers, they have some neat 901 stuff out there that all the, all the speakers signed uh, that, you can, that you can buy out there and be part of the silent auction. You can buy this T-shirt for $20, and you can buy this hat for $20. And there's also Duck Dynasty material out there now. So we, what we want, first and foremost, is your prayer about this initiative so that we can really launch this thing the way we want to. And then we need your financial assistance and then we need your creative thinking and we need you to help us get this thing in the hands of the people that are dying, relationships that are dying, guys that are suffering, hey, women and children that are suffering because of the guys, okay? Hey, Brian. So hopefully that was helpful. We get on the site? I think so. We can get on the site. Uh, I don't know. We have the, we well, have you can get enough. on it on your phones. You got data? It's shift901.com. We want you to take a look at it. We launched it today. It went live this afternoon at 3 o'clock. It's on there. It's live. I checked it out myself. But look, you're going to want to know what you're given to. We want you to see it. It's very impressive. Uh, the Lord has been gracious through this and given us the right partners to build it. But we want you to see it. So if you can get on your phone and check it out, shift901.com. It's mobile device ready because we know that this site's going to be very portable. And we know that most people are going to access it on their phone, so we made it just for that. So please, please check it out. Take a look at it. We have a short video that's going to explain it. After that video, take a break. There's some coffees, cookies, do the silent auction, uh, meet our partners, uh, get involved with what they're doing. Thank you. The world around us is changing every second. Technology has advanced communications and heightened expectations in every area of life. For us and our children, everything we need or want is only one click away. One click from success, one click from a new relationship, one click from a new house, or one click from groceries at our front door. Unfortunately, we are also one click away from destruction if we use technology in the wrong way. One click, that's all it takes to improve your life or start down a path of destruction. In one click, you can destroy a relationship, destroy a career, destroy your character and your integrity. Refuel has decided to get in the fight and leverage technology to help men be connected for the journey. Guys like to fight. There is something instinctive in us that drives us to compete, to battle. We see this in many aspects of a man's life, in athletic competition, in our careers, and even in our relationships. While men are built to battle fiercely for many things in their lives, many do not transfer that same passion to their walk with God, their marriage, their parenting style, or the pursuit of holiness. It's for these reasons and many more that we are introducing Shift901.com. Through technology, we will get in the fight and provide an outlet of collaborative resources that men and their families can use when they need help with relational or spiritual challenges or when they feel moved to be involved with something bigger than themselves. Shift 901 is built upon unity. Through this effort, we are collecting and correlating quality and Jesus-centered resources from across the entire city and placing them in one location so that men and their families can find the resources easily, connect with these resources quickly, and get the guidance that they need for their journey. Shift901.com will represent the challenges, the motivations, the emotions, and the most pressing issues that guys think about constantly. Sex, relationships, career, loneliness, alcohol, hunger, parenting, and many more. And we will put these emotions in a centralized website designed to provide help or engagement with these issues. 
Shift 901 is the only side of its kind. It's the click that will help you stay connected for this journey. And know this, Refuel Memphis has been led by God to ensure that you never have to click alone. God bless you on this journey to be connected to God and others.